What is going on SoFi fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to give you a very quick update on what is happening behind the scenes with SoFi. But more specifically in this video, I want to talk on if SoFi is making the right decision by not really pursuing something. So I'm going to go over all the stuff you need to know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, Let's get right to it. So currently down 1% uh, for today. The broader market is for the most part selling off, but as you can tell based on the intraday chart, it's actually holding some pretty good support. So I think at the end of the day, it might actually bounce off of this range and trend higher. Of course, I could be wrong. The next big support is that central boiling band at $6.43. So as I said on my last update video around here, that most likely it was very much too hot. And what I mean by hot is stochastic very overbought and in general it has cooled off a little bit so 61 is the stochastic so fairly neutral in that regard number of retail investors have been getting out ever since basically my video give or take on February the 2nd and over and above that RSI is currently at 61 so kind of matching with stochastic so I think behind the scenes technicals are still looking very much good could consolidate a little bit further in my opinion most likely bounce physically off of that six dollars and 43 cent mark but I think a lot of people are very much just waiting for next week for the CPI data to come out. And of course, if it is positive, then yes, stocks like SoFi will trend up very, very fast. Of course, if uh, inflation is showing that it is in fact going up, then a lot of gross stocks such as SoFi, unfortunately, are going to get hurt. But Based on the latest round of 13 Fs as well, some institutions have been getting out. Not too many, it's kind of mixed. So you do see on the red, some getting out 100%, some getting in, um, but generally speaking, those that have been holding so far, so far, is for the most part holding. So I think in general, that's a fairly good thing. Some big players in the game are all gonna be disclosing their position next week. So that's gonna be BlackRock, Vanguards, and so forth. So definitely that in reality could be a very good catalyst in my opinion. You you do see Eversource increase their position 6,306%, but of course they only have 38,000 shares. But I think at the end of the day, a lot of people have been increasing SoFi. And keep in mind during this time period, which was in Q4, there was a hell of a lot of fear. So you guys need to realize that institutions increasing at this time period is actually a pretty big deal. And based on what is happening today, I'll give you a quick summary. So this is all the dark pool transactions as of late. So kind of in line with the normal as you can see so again that's pretty good for a Friday as far as this this is all the transactions on the secondary market so as you can tell it is substantially lower there was only four transactions oddly today and all were for the most part pre-market there was one fairly large one at 1.35 million but Generally, uh, it looks like big money is taking a step back. And coincidentally, that was exactly the title of my last video on how big money for the most part with SoFi has been really not getting in as what they were. So again, you can take that how you see that. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own due diligence at the end of the day. All I am doing is listing points. You guys take those points, determine how you see fit and yeah, so forth. But when it comes down to options activity, I like to give you a good breakdown of that. Based on it being a Friday, oddly enough, there is a lot more puts being purchased, insinuating that there is big money anticipating it's gonna go down, especially based on this one right here. This one, it was a fairly large candle, looks like almost about 208 or $209,000 worth of premiums which was most likely behind the scenes institutions or shorts potentially. But again, I think there is a little bit more of a negative sentiment starting to grow, but I think that is because of the technicals. Like I said, even though it is 61 and it has cooled off a little bit, it could definitely have a little bit more potential cooling off if I'm making up words here. But again, like I said, I always like to give you an update on shorts, not necessarily because SoFi is going to have a squeeze. I always say that all the time, but I like to give it as a benchmark. And as of right now, there's 489 million shorts that is out there, which right now works out to be around 9%, give or take, of the free flow. So pretty short and pretty small in that regard, even cost to borrow, not really much to talk on. So the fact that they're actually decreasing their position today could be seen as bullish. So once again, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But like I mentioned at the beginning, I think there is one thing that SoFi potentially could be missing out on. And of course, based on the latest round of their earnings, they've been really pushing as far as their personal loans. That's been doing phenomenal. The Obviously the student aspect and the home aspect, not so much. 
Definitely still improving though, but nowhere near the personal. But speaking as far as loans, small business lending, I think this is one thing that they could definitely capitalize on. Unfortunately, Anthony Noto has said that in 2023, they're not really going to be looking to pursue this. But I think how the economy is, once we are in and get out of this bear market, we're going to expand at a very fast rate. And with these higher interest rates, SoFi could be very well positioned to benefit from these higher interest rates. And of course, the Fed's just recently raised it as well. So currently it is at 4.75%. So SoFi would really be able to benefit so much based on this. And of course, they could always potentially still mitigate some of their risks. So they don't actually have to accept everyone. They can still pick and choose. But I think having this as an option is still advantageous for the bottom line and overall would really help their revenue coming in. So that's just my own interpretation of that. Um, I could be wrong about this, but Anthony Noto for the most part has been really guiding SoFi in the right direction. So maybe he does have some justifiable reasons behind that, but I still think that there is one opportunity for that to actually come very true and very accurate. But outside of all that, let me know your thoughts on SoFi in the comments below. Give yourself a shout out as well if you have been buying during this time frame, where you see things going at least in the short term. Do you see it hitting the $6? and 43 cents or do you think it's just going to trend up from here so give yourself a shout out in the comments below if you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that if you do like my channel and support the growth take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen with that said appreciate you guys watching let's all make a lot of money on sofi